This work is a puzzle to some people and records how long they take to solve it. Some of the results are summarized in the histogram. And the histogram, it's important that I know that the area of a bar equals the frequency. I always write this down. Area that be the of a bar is the width times by the height equals the frequency. We may have to use that formula to work some things out. Four people took 20 minutes or less to solve it. So there's four people in this bit here. I've got to complete the thing. I've got to work out what the height is. So I want to work out the height. The height will equal the frequency divided by the width. And so the height will equal the frequency. It says it's four. So four divided by the width and it's from less than 20 or less 20 or less. So that width will be 20 and four over 20 is two over 10, which equals 0 0.2. So I have now completed the histogram and that says that's four because it's, it says four. I've got to work out the percentage of the people who took 30 minutes or more. So I need to know the areas of each of these bars because the area will give me the frequency. So this one here, the width is 10 times by the height is 0.9. So that will be nine. This one here, the width is 10 times by the height is 0.5. And that will be five. And the last one, the width is 20 times the height is 0.1. And 20 times 0.1 that equals 2. And so, percentage of people who took 30 minutes or more, this 5, 6, 7, or I'll just do, I'll put the working in 5 plus 2 over all of them, 4 plus 9 plus 5 plus 2, and that's a fraction, that's 7 over uh, 20. So 7 over 20, I need to change that into a percentage. So you times it by 100% or just put it over 100. Actually, if you times top and bottom by 5, not by 5 over 5, you times top and bottom by 5, that would give me 35 over 100. And that's 35%. And there's other ways you could have done it. You could have said 7 over 20 is the same as 3.5 over 10 and then times by uh, top and bottom by 10 to get 35 over 100 doesn't really matter the key thing with all of this stuff is that bit there to start off with and once you get the areas frequency you know the area of the bar is the width times the height and then you can rearrange that formula depending on what you want to work out and that's 17 done